Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Welcome and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new writing vlog. So it's currently April 4th and I'm not going to commit to doing a weekly vlog. I'm just going to vlog for however long feels right to me. If I happen to get a lot of writing done this week and I have a good length vlog, then perfect. But if not, then I'll just continue it into next week. But I just, I feel motivated right now to do some writing, to film a vlog for you all. So I did just upload a writing vlog recently, which I'll link up above in the cards for you to check out if you'd like to see it and that video was really just a mod podge of clips that spanned a few weeks and it just I don't know I'm, I'm really excited to sit down and do like hopefully a proper vlog I don't know I just I feel like it's time for me to get back into the groove of things in the last video I talked about some mental health struggles that I've been dealing with I'm adjusting to meds I am now on new meds so hopefully those will work better for me than the last ones but Today I am feeling good. I just listened to some music and it kind of pumped me up a little bit. If you guys ever need to pick me up, okay, listen to Best Song Ever by One Direction. Okay, it was a blast. Or just listen to like any of the One Direction upbeat songs. You know, like What Makes You Beautiful, that one also works. Um, or just like really any of the, like, the earlier music. It really, it really helps bring up my mood. But yeah, so I needed to update you on a lot of things because where that last vlog ended actually is not like the end of the writing that I've been doing recently. I have been doing some work off camera and just decided not to vlog it and just give myself a little bit of a break to just, you know, be by myself and do work on my own since I typically do vlog every step of the process. I just felt like I needed a little bit of a break this time. So I have been working on my revision outline. I don't remember what my last update on it was, but I'm just over 1500 words into it. I just started act two whenever I last worked on this, which was at some point in March. I don't know when I last worked on this, but I've, I've broken into act two in the revision outline and it is my goal to really work on it this week. But as for my March goals, I did manage to complete them all, which was really great. So I finished working on the character profiles for the most part. I'm sure that there is more things that I can add over time, but for all intents and purposes for draft two, I completed everything that I wanted to do, everything that I felt like right now I could do. And then I did do some research. So I researched music, business related things, which included like how how to record an album, how touring works, and just things like that. Concert photography, I also did that. And then online music magazines and blogs, I did a little bit for that as well. I did world building, so I figured out my main character's homes a little bit, like the layouts of them and everything. And then also the online music magazine where my main character Maisie works. And then also blogs for something else that happens in the book. And then obviously I also started working on the revision outline. So before I get into my writing goals for April, I do just kind of have like a bit of an update I guess on my 2023 writing goals. So if you miss what my 2023 writing goals are you can check it out in the first writing vlog that I posted this year. I'll just leave the playlist up above for all my 2023 writing vlogs if you would like to check that out. But during March I ended up getting like this big wave of inspiration to work on a different project that I don't know if I've mentioned at all on my channel. If you follow me on Twitter I've been talking a little bit about it on there. I posted an aesthetic for it which I guess I'll share right here for you all. So this book is very bare bones right now. Like I don't have all of the details figured out. I'm in the very early brainstorming stages for it, but it's basically a YA contemporary romance that takes place on Prince Edward Island, which is a place in Canada that I want to visit so, so badly. It's where Anna Green Gables takes place. And it's just like my bucket list, like travel destination. I really want to go there, but I've kind of just had this idea in like my back pocket for a little while, been wanting to write a book set in PEI. And I don't know, I don't remember how this happened but I got a big wave of inspiration for it and I even started a journal for it. So this is a journal that I've had for a long time that my grandma gave me and I don't know it just kind of felt like it fit the vibes. It was the best thing that I had in my possession that matched the vibes so I just went with it. But I have some stuff here for the book and then I have like pages of notes that I just started brainstorming like a lot. Oh my God, I didn't even realize how much I had in here. But yeah, I've been brainstorming this a lot in the past couple of weeks. I've been kind of brainstorming it on and off for, I don't even know how long, but I've just been like kind of talking to friends about it and then not really thinking too much about it. Like I had character names and what the characters looked like. I had a Pinterest board, but like no 
real like in-depth thinking about the plot but now I do I have this notebook I figured things out about the characters I figured out some things about the plot and the story and the romance and everything like that and I'm so excited for it it has kind of a sunshine grumpy vibe going on my main character has depression which I'm just super excited to explore in a book it also has like childhood best friends to strangers to like not rivals but just like they don't get off on the right foot when they like meet again and then to lovers again or like to friends to lovers it's it, there's a lot going on and I'm just so excited about it but I've been working on this book a lot recently and I'm going to continue to work on it throughout this year because I don't want to like talk about it too much because there's no guarantee that this is like gonna happen or anything but I'm thinking of applying to a Canada Arts grant at the end of the year and I want to use the money from that grant if I get it to travel to PEI to do research for this book and I, I really hope that it happens because I think this is quite honestly the only way that I'm ever going to be able to go to PEI because it is just so so expensive to travel within Canada like I've been doing a lot of research to like plan out budgets and stuff and my god it is it is expensive but yeah I wanted to apply for that some point before October because I think the cutoff date to apply is like October 4th or something so I basically just have to get all of my ducks in a row before then which means I need to be actively working on this project this year to try to figure out what the plot is and just make sure I have everything kind of set in stone I kind of want to like do all the character work and also like figure out like a rough outline or synopsis of this book just so I know what's going on and I know the things that I would have to research and then I can you know do my application form properly I don't know again there's no guarantee that this is going to happen but I did just want to mention it um, my notebook almost just fell onto my laptop but I did just want to mention it because this is something I'm going to be working on in the background when I'm not working on my Wim Tim revisions or you know even during the Wim Tim revisions I'm gonna be honest I've been prioritizing this a little bit more over the Wim Tim revisions uh, because shiny new book idea syndrome you know I it's I've I've succumbed to it this year but but yeah, I'm, I'm very excited about this. And my other kind of mini update to my 2023 writing goals is I mentioned I want to draft a new book this year, but I want to do it like in November. Like I'm planning to do it for NaNoWriMo. That way I can focus on doing revisions on this book all year long and get it to like a really solid, like kind of complete state. And I've kind of been trying to think about what book I want to draft in November because it's not it's not gonna be my PEI book. I don't have a title for this, so I'm just gonna be referring to it as PEI book. So it's not gonna be that one. That I will be drafting at some point next year. Yeah, so I've been trying to think about what project I wanna work on in November. I have a couple of like very loose YA ideas that I could work on, a couple of loose middle grade ideas that I could work on, and then I have like one adult novel idea. And I'm kind of feeling drawn towards the adult novel. I don't know, I kind of wanna try my hand at writing an adult romance novel. It's gonna be like the kind where it's like an early adult so I don't know if it would fall into new adult but I'm thinking the character is going to be like under 25 and I want her to be kind of floundering in life a little bit I want her to be a writer my placeholder title for this book is just mission rom-com and I want it to kind of be loosely inspired by or based on how to lose a guy in 10 days which is like my favorite rom-com of all time and I've had this idea like in my back pocket for quite a while now I have a board for it on Pinterest and it's just something that I'm very scared to write because it's going to be dual POV I think and it's an adult novel I've never even tried to write an adult novel really and I'm just I'm really nervous for it and I don't quite know how the jump from YA to adult is gonna feel and how I'm gonna do that and I'm still like don't hold me to this I could still change my mind but right now I'm thinking that that's the book that I want to draft in November. I could chicken out and do another YA instead but I have like so many YAs under my belt that I just kind of want to try something a little bit different and I do love adult romances so much that I just think it's going to be a really fun project to work on so that's not going to come until like later in the year. I probably won't stop working on it until about September, October, maybe even earlier. I don't know. I'll be working on it here and there whenever I've got time but I just wanted to like throw that out there and mention that that's that's what I think I'm gonna work on is my adult rom-com I'm I'm so nervous about it but I don't have to worry about it right now anyways I know that this has been such a long clip but now we have to talk about my April writing goals so here are my writing goals I did a duck theme like a duck in like puddle theme this month and I'm obsessed with it so I have three writing goals written down so far the first one is finish writing the revision outline for Wim Tim I'm hoping that it's gonna be done 
by the like by the end of next week i would like for it to be done earlier than that but right now i'm gonna say by the end of next week so like april 14th but again ideally i would like it to be done earlier than that maybe middle of next week or so I don't know. And then the second goal is I want to start writing draft two of this book. And I'm gonna make like a whole spread for it in my bullet journal over here where I do all my chapters that I'll like color in as I do them. But I don't know how many chapters I'm gonna like be able to get done. So I'm just gonna wait to make that spread. But I do wanna start writing draft two and get a lot of progress done in that. I just really wanna like get back into the groove of things. You know, I just really need to like fully immerse myself in writing in this book because I miss writing so much and I just haven't been doing it this year as much as I want to like if you look at my days written spreads in my bullet journal they are sad so I'm just like I'm ready I'm ready to get back into it you know so I want to do as much of draft two this month as I can because ideally I would like to finish it next month so that I can you know do another draft and continue working on it and then the last goal is just to continue brainstorming my PEI book just you know whenever the inspiration strikes whenever I feel like it whenever I want a little bit of a break from the revising world I can jump into the brainstorming world yeah and I think that's pretty much everything I have to tell you guys. I have just about an hour until I have a book event to attend to virtually for HarperCollins. So I'm gonna try to do as much writing in the revision outline as I can until then. I'm going to like read over like the last little bit of what I put in here, re-familiarize myself with the work that I've been doing because I feel like I came up with like some ideas recently and I just cannot remember for the life of me what they are. So I need to like look at all my notes and everything and just recenter myself in this project. Did that make any sense? I don't know. I just need to dive back in, you know? So um, I think that's the plan for today. I'd like to get a decent way through maybe the fun and games beat. Yeah, okay. I think I'm gonna look at all my notes and then start working on this revision outline. outline is now almost at 2100 words. I'm literally one word away from it being 2100 words. I'm currently working on chapter 20 in the revision outline and we are like in the fun and games beat now which I just realized I did not write that into my outline. So my outline still thinks I'm in break into two so I gotta fix that in a second but I am realizing that I forgot that my fun and games <laughs> section is very underwritten, underdeveloped and I need a lot more conflict and I for some reason thought that I had it all figured out and I do not so that's what I get for being very scattered brained when it comes to writing recently so I need to try to figure out what I'm gonna do to this portion of the book to bulk it up a bit more what I could do potentially is just continue the outline as is with following what the original draft looks like and whatever revision notes I have going forward and then just backtrack and see if I can figure out what's missing that way I don't really know I have just under 20 minutes until that book event so about 20 more minutes to do some writing writing. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to figure it out today. I think whatever writing I get done before my book event is pretty much gonna be what I do for the day because I want to do some reading today and me and my parents are currently watching Daisy Jones and the Six together. I've already watched it but I'm making them watch it now with me and I can only assume that we're gonna watch some episodes tonight after dinner and then also The Voice is on tonight so I'm gonna want to watch that. So lots of things going on tonight. So yeah I'm gonna try my best to figure out what I want to do going forward 
forward, look at all my notes again in case I missed something for what I planned for this section of the book. I just feel like some things go a little bit too quickly and there's not enough conflict. Like there's not enough things getting in the way of my main characters. So I just kind of need to brainstorm a little bit more and kind of figure out what's going on because I was looking at like the next like chapter in my like draft one notes and I was like, I feel like this happens too quickly. Um, and I'm looking at it and it still happens too quickly. So I need to figure this out before I can really properly move on. Okay, so it is now Wednesday and I didn't get much work done. After updating you guys yesterday, I had to go to the book event, but I did do like some more work in the outline, but I'm really struggling with that fun and games beat. And I really wish that I had realized sooner that I didn't have it all figured out. Otherwise I would have tried to work on it more maybe last month, but here we are. So I've pulled out my handy dandy best friend, Save the Cat Writes a Novel. There is always a time when I'm either outlining a book for the first time or doing revisions where this book has to come out and you guys know how much I adore this book. So as you guys saw in the previous clips, I've been going through it. I've been adding some more highlights because I didn't highlight some things before that I felt like were important. So I'm highlighting them now using my pen to mark up some things. This is like my favorite writing tool. If you have not read Save the Cat Writes a Novel, I highly recommend it. There's a YA specific one coming out next month. I just Googled the release date because I think it was originally supposed to come out last year maybe um, and then it got pushed back. I could be wrong about that, but it's now coming out May 2nd and I'm so excited that it's coming out so soon and I'm definitely going to go check it out in store to see how how much it differs from this version of Save the Cat because this one just you know covers every genre, every age category, has middle grade, adult, young adult in there. So I think it'd be really interesting to have a specific young adult version but I just want to kind of see it in person and like look through it but if you're wanting a YA specific one then maybe wait to get this until May 2nd so that you can get a version that will most benefit you I can only assume but I'm currently looking at like the fun and games section and the midpoint section trying to see if it can spark something in my brain to fix whatever is wrong in my book I'm kind of thinking maybe my midpoint is off maybe the midpoint needs to change but I'm struggling to figure that out which is why I'm currently reading the midpoint section in Save the Cat so I'm kind of just looking through it I'm about to reach the part where it talks about how to raise stakes and the different ways that you can raise the stakes so I'm definitely going to be looking at that currently I think mine is love stories ramp up but what's happened in the fun and games up until the midpoint so far it's not enough to warrant the midpoint and there just there needs to be more content in my brain similarly to when I was first working on this book is just failing to come up with like stuff to put in the book. I'm really struggling. Brain is empty currently. So I feel like I've forgotten how to write a book. I don't know, like where, where is all the conflict? I don't know where it is. So I'm gonna continue reading this. It's currently 3.35. I don't really have any plans today besides going to my best friend's house tonight. I think probably around 8 p.m. But I think beyond that, I just wanna read a little bit. Currently reading Rilla of Ingleside by Ellen Montgomery. It's the last Anna Green Gables book. I'm gonna dive back into this and hopefully I can accomplish something today. My goal is to hopefully figure out the fun and games and the midpoint a little bit more. It might require me shuffling things around and doing some rewrite situations, which I hate doing, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And if something's broken, you just, you just gotta fix it. <laughs> brainwave not for the fun and games but for the midpoint bad guys close in and the all is lost beat the all is lost actually isn't changing but now i know exactly why it is the all is lost moment you know like I've, I've got the points leading up to that figured out a little bit so i basically just took out a piece of paper and started to just brainstorm i kind of remembered and realized that this is a dual pov book and so i was like do i want just one midpoint for both povs or do I kind of want to give them their own midpoint, one right after the other? 
you know, and have them be like opposing midpoints. So one being a false victory and one being a false defeat. So I had to sit down with myself and really think about what the fun and games is for them because Save the Cat in the fun and games beat section of the book talks about if it's an upward path, so like the general direction of this beat is like heading towards success, then I believe it means that you're midpoint is going to be a false victory. So they think that they win, they think they've gotten what they want, but they actually haven't gotten like what they need. And then if it's a steady downward path, so heading towards failure, then I believe the midpoint is a false defeat. Yeah. <laughs> I, just had to, I just had to confirm that I knew what I was talking about there. So I figured out that my female main character, Maisie, has a false victory and my male main character, Christopher, has a false defeat. And they happen one after the other with Maisie's happening right before Christopher's. Um, and they do kind of like intertwine and like mesh with each other. But like for my own sanity, like I just needed to know what like the midpoint was feeling for both of them, if that makes any sense. I don't know if this is right. I don't know if this is the like correct move if I'm making any sense to anybody but myself and if this is actually going to translate well on the page. I don't know but I'm excited about it. I'm you know feeling it a little bit more. It is not too different from how it currently is in the book. It's just slightly different I think. So um, there's one thing I need to figure out still, a question that I need to answer for Maisie's midpoint and then I think I'll be I'll be ready to go. I just gotta figure out obviously the fun and games moments that lead up to this midpoint and kind of hopefully extend it a bit more because I still don't think that enough things happen to get to the midpoint so I just still gotta brainstorm that a little bit. But then because of brainstorming the midpoint I decided to brainstorm the bad guys close in. So in the bad guys close in Maisie is now on a steady downward path whereas Chris Christopher is on a steady upward path. So things need to steadily go wrong for Maisie, whereas for Christopher, things are seemingly going upwards. I love the juxtaposition between the two and like their different goals and how that's gonna like collide and go together. I'm very excited about it. And then so I also figured out the all is lost, which like I said, is pretty much the same in the book as it was already. So I'm gonna get back to work, but I'm, I'm feeling very excited. now 8 25 i paused for dinner and whatnot and i'm about to go out with my friend rochelle but i wanted to update this vlog one last time for today so i did manage to figure out the fun and games be a little bit more it's not perfect it's probably not complete but i did manage to figure parts of it out i i in general think that this book is going to be a smaller book and i said the same thing when i was drafting it i just don't think it's going to be a super long story maybe in further drafts i'll come up with more things and it'll just keep growing but I think for the second draft, it's still going to be fairly short. I'm thinking probably like 65,000 to 70,000. It's currently at like 51,000 or something like that. No, it's at 41,000. My god, I forgot how much I underwrote this draft. Okay, so maybe like 60 to 70,000, but probably not 70,000. Anyways, my camera is dying, but basically... I took a piece of paper, wrote down all of the scenes that were currently in the fun and games beat, and then tried to just fill in some blanks and add in a new scene. And I added in a new scene that actually includes some side characters that I was already trying to find a way to include them more in the story and see them more. So I was able to include two of them. I might try to find a way to include another one, but I haven't fully decided. But yes, I'm very excited. So it's shaped up a bit more now. So I managed to get up to chapter 30 before dinner. So my total for the outline right now is 3,420 words. So I think that I, I might be able to finish it. Maybe not this week, but like very early next week. I don't know. It kind of depends how things go tomorrow and how much writing I do tomorrow. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens tomorrow. But I'm really, really happy with the work that I did today. I don't even know how many words I did, but I did quite a lot. So I'm very happy with that. And I'm excited to see this book improve and get better. And I'm really, really excited to start draft two of this project. So I'm basically just, I want to get through this as quickly as possible so that I can start revising because that is my favorite favorite part of the process although I do have a lot of new scenes that I now need to add because of what I added into the fun and games beat so that's unfortunate for me since I hate drafting but I'm really really liking how this book is shaping up <music> Okay, 
so it's now Thursday. I've been writing for a little bit now, maybe like half an hour, 45 minutes? I don't even know, but the outline is nearly at 4,000 words as you guys just saw, and I'm in the dark night of the soul beat, so we are nearly there to the end. In this section of the book, I am making some changes. I'm just kind of extending things a little bit, having my characters kind of return to their status quo life a little bit more than I did in the first draft, because I kind of just like launched them right into things instead of like letting things calm down for a little bit, letting them process everything that has just happened. Basically just the overall problem with draft one was the pacing and me just doing things really really quickly instead of like drawing it out a little bit more and you know just making things the way they're supposed to be basically. But yes I've been doing some great work making some necessary changes to the story and I'm feeling really good about it. It's still not perfect okay it is still not perfect. I'm pretty sure the bad guys close in beat is too short but I'm just gonna leave it for now not fret about it too much and see how the book shapes up when I'm working on the revisions. I'm very excited to continue working on this. Um, I think that I might be able to finish this by Monday, but maybe even like by the end of tomorrow. It kind of depends. Tomorrow is a holiday, so my parents are going to be home and I don't know if we have any plans. So I'm going to try to not treat it as a holiday and just treat it as a regular work day and try to get a lot of writing done and finish this revision outline so I can finally start draft two next week. But like I said, it depends if my parents have any plans to do something because if they do, then it's going to make things a little bit more difficult. But it's currently 4.11. My mom's going to be home any minute now, but I'm going to try to work on this until dinner and then I might try to do some writing after dinner as well. We'll see how things are flowing at that point but I'm feeling really good like I'm excited I'm having a good time and things are just things are just flowing right now which is really great. I feel like I've had a really good like productive past few days which has been such a nice change to the past couple of months. I just feel like myself again because I'm writing and I feel good about it and I'm just feeling very inspired and creative and that's like my, my favorite way to be so I'm really excited about that. Yeah I don't know I'm just feeling happy and excited to be working on this project and to be making all the progress that I'm currently making so I'll try to update you guys a little bit more to Today. We'll kind of see if I have anything to say, but let's continue with the Dark Knight of the Soul. I'm very excited. Okay, so it is now much later. It's 9.35 p.m. I finished writing before dinner and then I ended up watching um, Louis Capaldi's new Netflix documentary and then I watched the new episode of Good Trouble um, and now I'm back to end out this vlog. So obviously if I'm ending out this vlog a day early because it's still Thursday, then that means that I finished my revision outline. So I wanted to finish it by Monday, but I totally finished it today. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. Is it as good as I think that I can make it right now? Yes. There's always the possibility that while I'm working on draft two, my brain will come up with new ways to fix things and new ideas and whatnot, but for all intents and purposes, I think I think the outline is done. So the outline is sitting at 5,617 words, but I'm super happy with the size of the outline. I'm really happy with the additions that I made, um, all the scenes I'm going to be adding. I'm excited about the revisions that I have for each chapter, and I'm just really excited to start writing draft two. I'm actually going to work on the bullet journal spread tonight because I kind of feel inspired to do that, so I'm going to make the spread where I like make a box for each chapter that I can like color in as I do each chapter. There's over 50 chapters in this book because a lot of them are very short. Short chapters just felt right for this project, but there are 57 chapters and I'm actually really happy with that. That's a lot more than last time. Draft one had 47 chapters, so this has 10 more chapters. So I'm hoping that for draft two it will be slightly less underwritten than draft one was because draft one is the most underwritten I've ever written a draft. That was a weird sentence, but I've never underwritten a draft as badly as I did <laughs> the first draft of what you mean to me. So hoping that draft two will be better. But as of right now, my gut instinct is telling me that when I finish draft two, I'm going to want to send it to a couple of friends to beta read for me. I normally don't do it this early on in the process. Normally I do it on draft three or four, just because I'm usually like pretty aware of the changes that I need to make and how to change them. Um, and I just don't feel confident enough in the book to send it out. But I genuinely 
genuinely think that this project I, I need to send it out earlier than I normally would because I just I don't know how to make this book better maybe I'll have a better idea by the time I finish draft two but I'm thinking for this project sending it out earlier is the is the right call so I don't know how long I think it's gonna take me to do draft two but I'll talk about that in the next vlog once I've thought about it a little bit more and tried to like make a deadline and everything so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I had so much fun making it. It felt so nice to be back and to do a weekly writing vlog, especially since at the beginning of the vlog, I didn't know if it would be a weekly vlog. And like really, it's only been a few days because I think I started it Tuesday. So it's just, I don't know, it's, it's felt like a productive week. I feel good, I feel happy, and I feel really excited about this book. I feel really excited to share this vlog with you all, so. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what you've been working on writing-wise recently because I'd really love to know. Subscribe if you have not yet already and I will see you guys next time.